tomorrow, signing on with some more Beyond Good and Evil. All right, I think we're on the final stretch here, people. Last time we exposed the alpha sections for working with the doms. We took out their leader, and now we gotta get on this elevator, and we are... What the? Okay, there's Paige. Paige, you got any words? Words of wisdom? Will you be able to make it? I'm with you all the way, Jade. All right, cool. Okay, now we're gonna go directly into the heart of the doms and get some answers and save people. So let's go. I don't have no idea how long this will be. My luck, usually when I do this and it's ending stuff, it's usually like 10 minutes long, but we'll figure it out. Who are you? you served your master well, John. What the heck? You alone have brought the Hillians to me. They have followed you blindly. Miss Jade? Dorthgal Parkar. What? It's a trap! The controls aren't responding anymore! You are not who you think you are. The pagan has hidden your origins from you. Jay, no! Don't listen to him! Oops. You are the source of my powers, the instrument of my strength. They took you away in the hope of destroying me, but I have survived, feeding me with only the most miserable of sacrifices. They made you human, but you are not like them. You are mine, Johnny, and I am going to kill the human part of you. David! Huh. Johnny Aww. Dom, This is weird. Okay, so she... Is a Dom? We're all in bad shape. Everyone's not in a good mood right now. Alright, she's just kicking ass right now. She's like doing one damage, one hit to kill everything. Okay, so is she like an action part dom or something? How does this work? Oh yeah, I think I gotta get. Whoop. Okay, try that again. I'm so screwed. I'm sorry! Help out! Get out of my way, though! him a couple of times, do that. Oh. Page illusions? God, that's weird. Oh, I get it now. There we go. So it's just me, huh? Oops. Oops. He's teleporting. Just keep trying to swing at it. And hopefully he doesn't do a surprise attack, otherwise I'm dead. What the hell happened there? Okay. Just after all that, he finally decided to make a swing. Okay, try that again. I needed... Okay, the check... Okay, that's nice. The checkpoint isn't too far away. This game is really nice when it comes to checkpoints. Oh, 
That works. Direct hit. Taken away. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Whoops. What? <laughs> okay, fine. Seeing as I had, I can only take two shots no matter what I do. And that's that's my best case scenario. There's up on the left. In front. And right. Okay, then I have to shoot. No, then he show up. See, and then when he pins you, you're... Okay, try again, goddammit. Okay, then after two times, left, front, right, left, front, right, and then on the front... First one, and then goes up, and then after that, he'll go on the right again. Right? charge in time. I think that was close though, the way everything was shifting around, so we're getting there, but I can still only take two hits. Try again. This is a pretty annoying boss, not gonna lie. Has my frustration been made clear? to dodge that if... Wait a second. Section? I guess? I don't know what I did differently, but apparently it worked, so fine. God damn it. Okay, please tell me the checkpoint is right there. Okay, good. Come on. Abandon the fight, Miss Jade. God damn it.
Damn it. Damn it. We're suffering this day. Abandon. Controls are reversed. Okay. Uh. Oh, great. This is gonna. Now, with everything reversed. Okay, think. Just think. Pointing to Okay, my controls aren't even reverse right now, and I feel like I have no control. God damn it. I'm really starting to hate this boss. It's a really cool setup, but this is starting to become We have to abandon the fight, Miss Jade. God dang it! Oh, One heart, now I gotta do this all perfectly in one try, otherwise I'm screwed. a minute. much time I have to react, but reverse, 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 reverse. There we go, frickin' finally. That must be it. Okay, I'm sorry, but that boss was absolute... <sighs> Breathe. I'm sorry, the ideas it has was really cool, but god damn it, you take so much damage. Two hearts a hit? Come on! And I know I could have been more prepared if I had healing items, but god damn it, that was ridiculous! It's over now, we got it. So what the heck is this thing's deal exactly?
Are we, like, taking control of that thing and purifying it? There's the goat kid. I thought he was just gonna fall. Alright, it looks like maybe we can took control of that, I don't know what you want to call it, priest thing. Everyone seems to be okay. Iris has showed up. And that's the credit. Come on. <laughs> okay, um, is there a follow-up to that or what? Um, gonna press some buttons on the controller here. Let me pick it back up. Nope. Nope. What the hell? No. Stop it. Okay, yeah, nothing's happening. Okay, I guess we'll let the credits roll and we'll see if there's a post-credits thing. Okay, so that was Beyond Good and Evil. How was it? I think it still holds up pretty damn well. Now, okay, that bo final boss was really annoying, and admittedly it probably could have been less so if I had slowed down, if I had more healing items, but even still, there was just, like, nothing. It was annoying because, like, you couldn't, even when dying, you could only take two hits, and, ugh, it was so exhausting and exasperating. But otherwise, the rest of the game, it's still really good. Jade's a cool um, character, Paige is a good character, Double H isn't that interesting, but, you know, well, a lot of the side characters outside of um, Jade and Paige aren't that interesting, but, you know, they play their parts and they have a good purpose. Um, and, yeah, mechanically, you know, it's got its problems. The combat's not very deep. It's cool when it works, but... I think that final boss also highlights how in not great it actually is. Especially the dodge isn't very good, it needed to be a little bit better, but either way, it's like the world is interesting, the um, exploration, and the stealth. Okay, how do I put it? It's got a lot of mechanics that aren't great, but they do their job. Like this combat um, is just hit stuff and that's it. The stealth is just don't run, that's it. And it's got a lot of stuff like that. The photography's good, but, you know, pretty standard as well. But then again, I guess it wasn't wasn't standard at the time. If this game released in 2003, I think I said the date wrong the first time I said it. And this HD thing isn't doesn't change too much from what I've heard. And... Yeah, you know, well, thing is, it's a cult game, and I can understand why people love it so much I you know I've been meaning to play this for a long time I finally have and it's it's good it is good and it makes me curious because near the end they were um, just revealing all this information about Jade how it, it maybe she's a Dom herself or something or what her connection to them really is and what that imply what the implications of that and like what can happen next, you know? And I'm excited for, well, it's got me interested now in Beyond Good and Evil 2. Now I've seen, well, what, the first trailer that came out for it. I avoided the one that came out for E3 2018 because I heard spoiler content and I wanted to wait. But I'll have to check that out when I'm done here. And, um, but I'm interested to see, like, what, well, <sighs> I'm trying to think of the best way to explain it. Even though it's going to be a prequel from what we've heard, I'm still interested to see, like, what that the sequel is now going to bring. Well, you know, prequel, sequel, bleh. 
I'm over specifying. I'm interested I'm interested to see what Beyond Good and Evil 2 brings to the table now, now that I played this. And with that being said, you know, people have been complaining, oh now it's going open world, it's not gonna be it's gonna be open world and you're gonna play as a custom made character instead of someone like Jade, which is yeah, kind of annoying, but at the same time, it makes sense within the world where this was just like a small story that had a big impact. Like, you know, this it was pretty self-contained. It was a small, you know, not a, a huge area really, but, you know, just the amount of stuff packed into it. There was so much to do. And this whole, like, aliens being in league with the secu government security force or whatever... And where that ended up taking. And so, you know, there's probably like a ton more Dom stuff out there in the galaxy. But this Dom, whether it was the actual leader of them or whatever, was just trying to find Jade or Shawnee. And you know, there's a lot of mystery still around Paige's past, um, Jade's parents, and now even Jade's alignment with the Doms. So, you know, there's a lot to work off of. And even if it's a prequel, I'm sure Beyond Good and Evil 2 can talk about and tackle a lot of these things, you know? So, yeah, it's interesting. Beyond Good and Evil, still a good game. It's got its mechanical hiccups in it and a couple of other issues, but you know what? For the most part, it's still a damn good game. It's interesting, it's cool, great aesthetic, interesting characters, well, interesting main characters, and just like the multi, you know, multiple layers of culture that this game, you know, has like a mix of Spanish, Jamaican, and a bunch of other stuff. It's just really cool and really fun. So, yeah, I guess that's all I got to say, but... Sorry to get any drink. Gonna wait. Credits should be almost over by now. I've been pressing the button every now and then. Can't skip them. We'll see if there's a post credit scene or anything. Otherwise, after that, this is done. Music's dying down. We're probably getting close to the end. So yeah, this is just a really interesting game. Um, I think a lot of the... They have a couple of camera issues, especially in the slaughterhouse. The camera wasn't that great. And I'm not sure... Admittedly, I've got a not great Xbox One controller right now. It's an, a really battered, wired one. And so... I don't know, maybe some of the camera issues were my fault just because of the way the controller acts up, or maybe some of the finicky control problems I've had, like the um, hover boat not going when I was trying to move, or those times I got stalled or stuck. You know, I'm not sure if that was my controller acting up and just not registering properly, or if that was the game just being a little buggy. I'll give the game the benefit of the doubt, but I'm not ruling it out. So, come on. Something I can do. <laughs> okay, almost there. Bear with me. But yeah, it's a really good, you know, a lot of good stuff. That's pretty much all there is to say, but I've got time to kill, apparently. And this is all just to see if there's post-credits. If there isn't, I'm just going to feel like I wasted time. But yeah, I get why this is a cult classic. The big thing, you know, one of the people on YouTube, or if you know her online, Laura K. Buzz, she's a big um, supporter of the game. She said, well, if you don't know Laura K. Buzz, or she is a friend of Jim Sterling, and she does all his editing for um, Podquisition and such, and she's on there as a co-host, and... So, she's always talked about Beyond Good and Evil a bunch. She, she says it's her favorite game of all time, and a bunch of other stuff. Basically, she just, like, really loves this game, and I can see a lot of the reasons why. And, you know, it does have its janky moments, but, you know, that's age, and you can't really hate it too much. And, you know, it's got its problems, but I can understand why she would have that view, honestly. And... You know, this is definitely a good cult class. It's like Psychonauts, in a way. Well, it sounds so dumb, but really... 
I'm losing track. I'm trying to keep thinking of stuff to say while this is going on. But, you know, she really loves the game, and she's, like, mildly... Okay, I think we're almost there. She's, like, being cautious about Beyond Good and Evil 2 because she's kind of sick of Ubisoft's um, open-world stuff. But, you know, she's still excited to see, like, what this game, this series, or it will bring to this world. And if it does it right, it could be huge. And, you know, yeah, Beyond Good and Evil, just a good Michelle Ancel, a lot of talk about that person. Um... <laughs> Come on. So, again, I'm just rambling, so a lot of the stuff I'm saying, comparing Psychonauts and talking about Laura, it's just me trying to do more filler, as if I don't do that enough in my stuff. Come on, almost there. Yeah, Beyond Good and Evil, I've said it five times already. Good game. Final boss was really annoying, but I think that's just because I came unprepared. I tried to muscle my way through too many sections and just was stinging, hoarding my money. Uh, hoarding my money too much instead of buying more stuff because I was thinking maybe I'd have to buy more pearls or healing boosts, health boosts, not healing items. So that was my mistake, admittedly. So it's like when you get to a certain point, by the time you get the rocket engine, just spend your money on healing items. And you'll... That probably could have made that last section a lot easier if I had that. Which, you know, admittedly my fault. At the same time, they could have been a little more forgiving instead of taking two hearts away from you in one shot. I know considering the health you could have, that seems like, you know, f that seems fair, but God, it's annoying. Come on, it's got to be almost there. What the hell? Bear with me, I'm just going to keep jabbing. Still can't do anything. I'm flicking the controller and everything. It's got to be almost done by now. I thought so, but... So yeah, I suppose if you're interested, Beyond Good and Evil is still worth a play if you're interested. And because there's, it's just got a lot of merits. It's got its... You know, it's got its age problems, but I think you can overlook those and see just, like, how ambitious this project was at the time. And, you know, that's about it. I'm sorry, I'm running my mouth too much. I'm starting to get tired, and I got other stuff to do today, but come on, almost there. Gotta be. Here we got a picture. Looks like everybody in the team getting a good portrait. Part, some members of Iris, the kids. Where's Jade? Unless she's the one taking the picture. Boy, this is such so slow. Almost there, I think. Well, the pictures imply that everybody got home, you know, and everyone's just relaxing, hanging out. Kids are fine. Everybody's good. Jade just taking pictures of everybody having fun. <sighs> Come on. Still can't skip anything. This is going to be a long video and not because... I'm going to have to edit so much because of that stupid boss fight. I'm not looking forward to that and my bursts of rage. Come on. And again, this is just to see if there's a post credit scene. I think this is all we got, isn't it? If this is all we got, I'm going to be a little annoyed. There's a picture of Jade. She's just chilling. She's good.
Okay, usually when we get to the QA team on the thing, credits, that usually means near the end. Then again, at this rate, there was also a couple of other signs that was supposed to be over. You're most grateful for those who accompanied us the time for a time was bleh. Special thanks to okay. Plus all the players who tested the game. And focus groups. Okay, all the credits are done. Are we gonna see somebody? Are we gonna get a dialogue? Is it just gonna cut to black now? Nope, camera's moving a little bit faster. Well, it was. Still can't. Nope, oh, camera's moving. Oh, it's moving. We got page. Is he okay? Did he fall asleep there? Or is he just looking out at the horizon? Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. The yet. <laughs> now that was abrupt. Okay, so he's got a Dom virus growing on him. He's not in good shape. And that was it. <laughs> not much else to say. I've already done enough rambling. Beyond Good and Evil HD, damn good. I can't remember, did I get this free for gold or did I pay money for it? I think I got it for free and I don't remember if that's right or not. But I think it's only 10, 15 bucks, so totally worth the price of, if you go for the HD version on Xbox 360 and PS3. Beyond Good and Evil HD, damn good game. If you like cult classics, this is definitely one to check out if you haven't tried yet. I'm going to leave you alone now because I've been talking your ear off for... Probably 30 plus minutes now. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off. And thank you for watching me play Beyond Good and Evil HD.